I'm Sally Wenzel. I'm a professor of medicine and immunology at the University of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about precision medicine as it relates to severe asthma. Um, certainly, I've been involved for many years in the understanding that severe asthma is really an umbrella term. It encompasses multiple different phenotypes. Uh, you've heard a little bit about that from some of our other uh, speakers. But I think we've made a lot of progress over the last several years in that uh, some of these phenotypes now are quite amenable to specific targeted therapies. And so we are now able to divide severe asthmas into at least two broad categories, those that have type 2 high inflammation and those that have less evidence for type 2 high inflammation. And the good news is there's a lot of new molecular entities that have been developed to treat, to target those patients with type 2 disease. Some of them are actually approved by uh, the FDA in, in the U.S. Um, and are beginning to be approved uh, in, in Europe as well and in other countries uh, for treatment of patients who have markers of type 2 inflammation, elevated eosinophils, elevated exhaled nitric oxide levels. And the, the data coming out from these uh, studies are actually quite remarkable in many cases with uh, reduction in exacerbations. One of the veins of being a severe asthmatic is having to go on oral steroids, systemic corticosteroids, um, perhaps many times per year or, or continuously throughout the year, uh, and showing the evidence that these targeted therapies will actually reduce the need for oral corticosteroids. Um, certainly even with some of the anti-IL-5 molecules that are specifically targeted to, to block eosinophils. Um, there's data to suggest that if you're on oral steroids, you can actually come off of oral steroids uh, on treatment with these medications. So the anti-IL-5 drugs are leading the way. Um, there are several drugs uh, coming up behind them, including those that are blocking the IL-4 receptor pathway, um, IL-13, a component of that pathway, uh, as well as uh, uh, drugs that are a little later on in development, things like anti-TSLP. And certainly the hope is that by this targeted approach, we'll be able to identify patients who might best respond to these medications using biomarkers easily available in the clinic uh, to identify these patients and then to get the right medications to the right people and improve the lives of patients with severe asthma.